Hey guys, it's the eighth Let's Play for Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, I found out about Vali, whatever his name is, the Vlad Tepe's lover. So we're going to start that up. We are at a Marmalade Alert level zero. He's asleep. And a, Mar a Jello Alert level zero. He's at work. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's take a look at the new pigeon stalls, I'm assuming. Mediterranean defense. Send your assassin to conquered cities. Mediterranean Defense. The Mediterranean Defense feature allows you to send assassins to perform missions in cities throughout the Mediterranean region. You can undermine the Templars by freeing these cities from their influence. When a city has been reclaimed, the assassins will establish a permanent presence there. This will unlock options to help develop and develop it and make it prosper. Templar agents, however, will attempt to retake the lost cities and they may even launch a massive attack if you are not careful to maintain your influence over the city. Oh, okay. Um... Bursa. I guess Bursa is really the only... Wait, can I? No, I guess Bursa is... The... It's not lit. Okay. Bursa is the only one it's letting me do. Templar controlled 100%. One contract. The Little Prince. Difficulty 3. Money 500. XP 13,500. Sync duration unknown. Um, Let's select that one. Sultan Bezid's third and least capable son, Corkett, has been captured by Templar thugs and is being held hostage in Bursa. Send in a team of assassins, eliminate the Templars, and rescue the prince. Oh, okay. Okay, so I... <laughs> Little guy only has 17%. We'll go with the 100% man right there. We'll send him off. Choose a level 11 assassin and press A to sign him to this mission. Okay. Press Y to send your assassin on a mission. You're about to send us recruits to contract mission. They'll be unavailable for an unknown period of time. You go, Gerardo. You go. Okay, I guess that's how it's going to go. It's a little different now. Not bad. Is that a library? Do I get to go to a library, guys? Can I? Nope, can't get up there. Okay, guys, I'm going to see if I can get to that library, and then we'll go to the next um, mission spot. I'll see you in a minute. What I have determined is you can beat off the Innis, the civilians with your fists. So that's good. What does the bookshop do for me? Oh, it's a new shop, guys. Got to explore the new shop. Treasure maps. Books? Oh, I see. It's just to gain up. Um... Oh, see. I so would do this, except I'm trying to save up for a crossbow. So, no, we're not buying anything. No, no. We'll come back and buy stuff after I get my crossbow. I need my crossbow. Okay, guys, so I think the next thing we'll do is while we're here, we're going to climb up to that spire first, and then we'll go to the memory. I'll see you in a moment, guys. Here's another random spot to look down upon. I mean, I get confused on what the purpose of these are, but that's okay. Let's synchronize. <gasps> I guess that's my gunfire. I keep thinking that's my... That was, in the last game, my synchronize button. All right, so we got another one down. That's good. Five out of 22. Okay, so we're going to head over to our place. Or to our memory, not our place. I will see you guys there. Okay, we're back in the Imperial District, guys. So now maybe we'll find that memory because it was in the wrong... Well, hey, guys. What's up? What's up? All right, guys. I will see you definitely at the place. Okay, guys, we are here. Let's interact and find out what we need to do next. There's been a lot of running around. A Any lot damage. of damage. Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars may be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Que sinicle. Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Uh, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> Look on your face. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. I will not remember any of this, guys, but I will try it. Bomb crafting. Assassins now have control of the Imperial North Den, and Yusuf is at ease. Learn more about bomb crafting before setting out. Okay, so we'll interact with the bomb. Oh, whoa, that's not the bomb craft. Let's see. Guild management. Sign contracts to your recruits and upgrade your guild from here. Ooh, is that what that is? And what's this? Is that just for me? Is that just stuff for me? Oh, it's for me. You shouldn't have gotten it for me, guys. Ooh, skunk oil. Ooh, what's this? 
Okay, so here's all the bomb things. Won't worry about it at the moment because um, bombs probably won't be a big thing for me. I'm fairly sure of that knowing my style of play. But let's play us some bomb crafting. Okay, so let's let's make the fuse shell. Gunpowder, effect, and let's see, shrapnel. No, gunpowder. Oh, I see. Shrapnel or datura powder, which is creates a lethal explosive design to slowly poison when it breathes its fumes, and coal dust. Ooh, okay, Indian gunpowder creates a small explosion radius, minimizing the number of casualties around the target area. Arabic gunpowder, this gunpowder is a medium-sized explosion affecting multiple targets. And British gunpowder, this gunpowder explodes in a wide radius. You know, I like the Indian gunpowder because we'll keep people from, well, I guess we won't be able to get to do that. So there we go. And then a few shell. Yeah, we're good. Test the bomb. Tap Y to drop bomb, hold Y to aim your bomb. Ooh, okay. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Okay, I might do this a little bit, but... Okay, I got three bombs. You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? Si. The Secret Crusade... By Niccolo Polo, uh, Marco's father. I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Niccolo brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already, beneath Topkapo. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Uh, speak with a man named Piri Reis in the bazaar. He can point you in the right direction. Piri and uh, teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. Ooh, splinter bomb. Ooh, oh my god, there's so much options, too. I do have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the... They really do expand out for more side work. Uh, the Whisper is wanting to just wrap it up so I can catch up and then focus on the newest one but that's okay Ooh, did I pick something up let's pick up stuff while we're here because you never know when you might need something oh yeah Indian gunpowder hell yeah guys hell yeah so I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna go meet the guy and then we are gonna go oh wait interact with what, what interact with what oh let's get out of here yeah So, we're going to meet with the guy and then call it good, I think. I think that's kind of my goal. Because we're starting to get towards the end. And I'm yawning because I'm a little bit tired today. Today, unlike a couple last Let's Plays I've had, I'm a little tired. And i got a couple other games running that I have to work with. And so it just might be good. I'm also kind of worried. I haven't heard back yet at the time of filming this. Not necessarily at the time that you see this. I have not heard back about... Um, the the um, the copyright thing that was given to me. So, hopefully, I'll be able to. Hopefully, I'll be able to um, not have to fight with them over it. Because I hate fighting with people over things. Ooh, I groped her. That was not appropriate. Not appropriate, Whisper. Okay, who am I supposed to talk to? I'm supposed to... Oh, wait, wait. What's this? What is this? Examine. Grand Bazaar. Buy this landmark? No, I don't have enough money yet. Oh my god, I have no money. I'm kind of broke right now. Okay, so we're kind of near. Is he up above? Oh, it's a door. Oh my god, I've been wandering around and I totally missed it, guys. I bet you Jello was screaming at the, window, at the window. I think I have seen some of your earliest work. Yes. <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazim send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Nicolo Polo's former trading post. Ah, 
You must be that Florenzella he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes. The old polo shop. It's just west of Hagia Sophia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about... specialty bombs. Ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's Navy. Currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and a few peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. All right, let's access the database first, and then we'll call it good. Got 100% sync. Excellent. Piri Rees, born somewhere in the Ottoman Empire sometime around 1467, give or take a few years. Hasi Ahmed Mahudin Parin was not quite so mysterious as his vague origins may imply. He was an accomplished seafarer and officer in the Ottoman Navy. Seabound by his early teens, he got his first experience as a privateer sailing on expeditions of dubious legality with his uncle Kemal in and around the Mediterranean. By the time he was in his 20s, he and his uncle had both joined the Ottoman Navy, trading their rough freedom for respectability. In 1503, at the close of the Ottoman-Venetian conflict, Piri's taste for military ventures waned for a time, and he shifted his interest to intellectual pursuits, beginning a serious study of cartography. In 1506, after some initial and unfortunate disagreements with the assassins, Piri joined their ranks, not as a warrior, however, but as a scholar and a technician. For all that he had seen in his years as a sailor, he had grown bored of the artificial boundaries that separate nations from one another, and felt the assassins offered the truest intellectual freedoms. In late 1511, after the sudden death of his uncle, Piri took to the seas once again to study navigation and hone his drafting skills. By 1513, he had produced what would eventually be considered his most famous map, a small work best known for containing one of the earliest accurate depictions of the eastern shore of South America. Throughout the next few decades, Piri continued to make maps and perfect his skills of craftsmen of, of rare artistic and technical talent. It wasn't until Piri was in his early 80s that he officially earned the rank of Rees, or Admiral, by which point he was a legend in the Ottoman Navy. All right, guys, this is number eight. This is kind of a cool building, lots of stuff to look at. We'll look at it next time. Until next time, though, take care.